So in this session, we're going to see different sections, which is helpful to determine your route, either in your sales order or delivery. Okay, route can be determined at two places. So route determination, okay. For that, first we have to define transportation zones. So what is transportation zone? So if you see this transportation routes, so you define that uh, two places, departure location, and the destination location. If you go back, if you see this, this plant. So for example, this is in Hamburg, Germany. So in Germany, based on busy or also based on, uh, you know, stock availability, uh, wherever this plant is located, okay, for that you have a shipping point, the place where you can able to do the facilities for loading and shipping, that you can able to create it as one, transportation, departure transportation zone. In the similar way, you will have a destination transportation zone. So if you are the, from this plant, from Germany to Germany, you're sending JSRAM exports, which is located in Germany. So he belongs to one zone in Germany itself. Like, you know, assume that based on the, what I would say, location division, uh, central Germany, north Germany, okay or else Eastern Germany, Northeast Germany, like that, you know, you can able to divide the zones or else it depends on country region basis. Also, you can able to uh, create the destination zone based on the customer availability. So in the similar way, if you see this example for France, you can able to define uh, country region or else geographically, you can able to divide it. Okay, so it is in a, a direct transportation zone or else uh, based on the region and country also you can able to divide it and the ge geographical division how your customer uh, based on the availability of your customer you would like to define the zones what is the advantage with this with the zone to zone so you'll try to fix some cost actually for your transportation based on the uh, vehicles what you are going to use and uh, you know transportation facilities you are going to do for your customer so let's see an SAP let me log in. So, it's expired. So, so let's go to SPRO, reference IMG. Come here, the place where sales and distribution, no logistics execution, go to transportation. Come here, basic transportation functions, go to the routes. So here is the place where route determination, okay? Define transportation zones. Let's click here. You see this country and you are taking the room uh, John, actually, you know, this is uh, like somewhere three, six, ten digits code, actually. So you can able to create less than or equal to ten digits. So you can able to see some examples. Mm, so California, they have divided regional east, regional west, like that, you know, they have divided. Even you can able to do it for D also, Germany. Okay. So like, you know, these are the zones it has got created. You can able to use it existing ones or else you can able to create your own one. Go to DE. So my departure zone, DE, HM. So I have a zone, okay. DE Central, I'm creating, okay. This is one transportation zone. So that means this I'm creating for my shipping point. So you can take DE, HM, so maybe I can take DE North. So I have taken this one. So these are the two zones I'm just doing for France also yeah for east 
so i can able to define how many so like you know or all the nearby regions and customers belongs to this east east uh, geographical region of uh, france then i can consider okay so i have defined this one so next we will see this maintain country and transportation zone for shipping point let's see this let's catch up in next session thank you